Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to our video. In today's video, we have a brand new driving impair update. This update adds four new cars, a new dealership, performance improvements, updated all vehicle materials, and some bug fixes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so first things first, I'm gonna show you guys the new dealership. Now, I was told to tell you all, this is something the devs told me that they want me to tell you all. This does not have to do with any cars getting removed that could affect the dealership building. Now, the old building was based off a Porsche dealer, now, there's been a rumor floating around that um, Porsches might be getting removed, and I was told to tell you all that is not the case, that is not the reason at all. They just wanted to update the dealership in order to basically change out the parking lot layout, the layout of the dealer. They just wanted to update the layout of everything, and I think it looks a lot cleaner with the new layout, so I hope you all understand why they had to make the change. Now, let's go ahead, walk in here, we're gonna see. Okay, so they got these cars on display over here, alright, little corner area over here. If we head back here, still the same style, sort of. Um, cars under covers, okay. Uh, right here, customization area. Okay, this is pretty cool. So, pretty similar to how it was, but they just kind of redesigned the layout just a little bit. So, you know, it's a bit different. That's all. Nothing too big. Not a big deal. But, let's go in the dealership and see what these new cars are. Alright, so, I'm in the dealer. We're gonna see the first car right here. This is the Stratum Dark Force Speed. Um, it's supposed to be a Dodge Challenger. I'm gonna be honest, I think this thing's hideous. I, I don't really like it, but it's got a top speed, 250 miles per hour, zero to 60, 3.4 seconds, handling 52%, $45,000 price tag. Next car. This is an upgraded version. Oh, I, I really do not like this. Um, uh, 250 miles per hour, 0 to 60, 2.3 seconds, handling 52%, 100AK price tag. I'm not gonna spend much time looking at these because I think they're just really ugly overall. Um, yeah, I, I really don't see the difference between them as well. Like, they all uh, have the wide body kit, so I don't see what makes one different than the other. Like, a carbon fiber, or just a matte black hood, really? That's the best you can do? I don't know, feels just like a lazy model in my opinion, not that good. Uh, this thing's top speed, 215 miles per hour, 0 to 60, 1.6 seconds, handling 52%, 200k price tag. I'm gonna just brush through those real quick. This though, this is something you guys are probably interested in. This is a Lamborghini Aventador right here. This is a fake Lamborghini Aventador. Now, they call it the Thunder Win. It has customization, opening doors, engine, and frunk. Top speed, 217 miles per hour, 0 to 60, 2.2 seconds, handling 29%. <clears throat> and it costs... 850k, dang that's a high price tag to pay, but okay, here we go. We purchased it. Now this is probably the car that you all care about, because I know you don't care about those fake Dodges. Now, this actually isn't a terrible model. Um, only thing I would personally change with it is the headlights. I would maybe change those up a bit. But besides that, I mean, this is an acceptable fake model in my opinion. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead, customize it now. Alright, I've just pulled my car into the new customization area. Let's go ahead, look at the body kits. Okay, so we can add on the sick carbon spoiler. That looks amazing. And for the wide body, ooh, that's not very noticeable actually. Eh, whatever. So that's basically it. It just adds on the little wide body flares. Honestly, not terrible looking though. I'm gonna be honest, this looks kind of cool, man. I'm gonna go ahead, finish up my spec, max out the car, then we'll do some testing on it. All right, I've gone ahead, finished up the car. We're gonna open it up right here, take a look at it. So <clears throat> right here, the engine bay, you can see the engine cover actually matches the paint, and it even includes the wrap on it too, so we got the metallic blue engine, looks super cool. Exterior-wise, looks great. Unfortunately, the doors don't go up because it's a fake model. I wish so, that would be so cool if they went up. Interior, let's walk in here, sit down. Doesn't look terrible, it really does look like the Aventador. We got the little start-stop switch, the steering wheel looks like the Aventador, seats look like the Aventador. I would say it looks like the Aventador, it's pretty close to be honest, like, sides pretty accurate. I only noticed like the side intake there was changed. Front end, only the headlights and the, the front bumper were changed. Um, rear end, they kind of just added a weird exhaust. That's about it. Like overall, this really is one of the most accurate models in my opinion. Like the shape is so close to the Avenger. I feel like they killed it with this model. It, it's pretty good in my opinion, but I do want to see the top speed. So Let's go ahead and actually turn this around. We're going to get to the highway, and um, I don't know. Let me make a prediction right now. I like to make a prediction. I'm going to predict maybe like a 250 mile per hour top speed. Let's see if my prediction is accurate. So far, so good. 
Let's see. Come on. Okay, we're gonna be higher than 250. Okay, so without boost, 248 with boost. 276, 275. All right, small bug I just found on the Aventador. Even though I have the body kit wing on it, the normal wing still goes up basically inside of it, and I know it's not supposed to do that, so devs, hop on this bug, fix it please. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Drop a like if you enjoyed, I would truly appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell so you never miss another upload, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.